how to upload YouTube Shorts from DaVinci Resolve. So I've made a previous video explaining how to create YouTube Shorts in DaVinci Resolve. So once you've created your YouTube Short and you wanna then get it onto YouTube, and you need to follow these steps to do so. So first, you wanna go ahead and make sure everything's all good with your short, make sure you've played it, previewed it, and everything's all good. Once you've then done that, you wanna to go to Quick Export in the top right-hand corner, and here you've got some options. Now you can directly upload to YouTube, but it's gonna mean signing into your YouTube and Google account, on DaVinci Resolve, which personally I wouldn't recommend. I would just recommend you go ahead and download this as a H.264 Kodak file. And you can see the resolution should be 1080 by 1920. That is the YouTube short or short form content dimensions. So click on this one here, click export. Then choose where you want to export it. I'll just export it to my desktop and I'll just call it test. Then we'll click save and it should then export this video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and minimize DaVinci Resolve. Now we've done that, we can see our test video is here on the desktop. If we double click on this, we can open it and preview this. So here is our YouTube short. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. So now we can go ahead and open up YouTube. And once you've opened up YouTube, here's my video, by the way, if you haven't seen this video on how to make a YouTube short, once you've opened up YouTube, make sure you've logged into your correct channel. So I'm doing this on knowledge base. Then go to the create button in the top right and click upload video. And you can then select this video. So go to select files and choose the YouTube short. Now it's going to recognize that it is a YouTube short. You might not get this message though here because it is talking about ad revenue sharing. So if you're not monetized, you might not get this message, but don't worry. We'll just dismiss this for now. So we'll just let YouTube process this video. And once it's processed down here, it should recognize it's a YouTube short again and give you kind of like a YouTube short uh, URL. So there you go, it's just done it. So it's now recognized that it is a YouTube short video we're uploading. So give this a title. I'm just gonna call it here, YouTube search based method. And you can give your short a catchy title. Obviously go and watch a few shorts and see how people are titling theirs. This is not a great title, but it's just as an example. Then add a description, the first two lines, or maybe the first line, is gonna be visible when people are scrolling through shorts. So make sure you add some more value here or catch people's attention with a more descriptive explanation of what your video is. Then scrolling further down, you've got your playlist. So you can add this to a playlist if you wanted to. You could maybe create a YouTube Shorts playlist and just add it to that. Then make sure that you select no, it's not made for kids, and if it's not a kid's short. If you click yes, it's made for kids, it's gonna limit how many people see it because it's only gonna push it to kids and it's just gonna mess everything up. So if it's not made for kids, click no. And then scrolling down, you've got basically all the other things here that are pretty irrelevant like tags. You can add some tags, but they don't really do anything to YouTube Shorts. And then that's pretty much it. You've got the category, which might change a little bit. And that's pretty much it then. You've got the category, which might help a little bit. But following that, you wanna click next. And it's gonna ask me about the ads. So it's gonna ask me like, what content am I uploading? And does it match any of these categories here? If it doesn't, and you're not uploading dodgy content, click none of the above and submit rating. Now this is only if you're monetized on YouTube. If you're not monetized, you'll skip straight to video elements. Now this feature here is one to look at. What you can do is you can add a related video to your YouTube shorts. Now it's going to link. Now if you select this feature and click add, you can link to a long form tutorial or video in your case. So I upload tutorials. So let's say I have a YouTube short and it's a clip from a tutorial video. I can then select the long form video that I've took the clip from and it will actually link that video. This just means when people are scrolling through shorts, they'll then be able to click on the long form video and you're gonna send viewers from shorts to long form, right? So it's a great way of converting short form viewers into long form viewers. Once you've done that, go ahead and click next. Once you've done that, you can then upload this video and make it private, unlisted or make it public and then click publish right away. Alternatively, you can go to the scheduling tools and schedule this for a future date. So that's how you can upload a DaVinci Resolve YouTube short onto YouTube on computer.